Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more a judicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to, if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. <laughs> what a scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah. Look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? What? Oh, man! And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too! Wow! You really are fucked! I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Until then, I got about this much time. You in or out? 
All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Rice and stuff in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, like your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> All right. You go down there casually. You creep up on him. Then bear those little fangs and feet. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to train them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. <laughs> Square above humans on the food chain. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance of immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? <laughs> Shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? That's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kid. Okay? Okay, now. Inside here and head upstairs. Meet up with it. I'm just gonna go see what the ruckus is. Away from the windows! Oh, it's a Sabat raid. The Sabat? They're, uh. uh Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit to layer. Uh, the Sabat? Well. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabbat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away.
frenzied Shabbat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. Soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you have welling up inside you. The beast? It's always there, it's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> the only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. 